I'm Malcolm Booth Lloyd, and I'm 12 years old. I've been in the Arctic six times. The life's simpler up in the Arctic than in the small town of Whitehorse, where I live. You don't have hot water and dish soap to wash your dishes. You've only got gravel and salt water. You have cards and driftwood to keep you busy instead of all the modern technology. The longest that we've been out in the refuge was probably this last trip, which was about four weeks probably. We traveled by foot and by sea kayak. We hiked out into the mountains to find the blue throat, and then we sea kayak along the icy reef to Kaktovik. If there's a strong headwind, it's hard, and when you put in long days, you get sore arms. Blue throats come all the way up through Asia, across the Bering Strait, to the Arctic Refuge, which is very cold. Blue throats are very small. They are the most striking bird that I've ever seen. They have a forget-me-not blue throat with a rufous spot in the middle, and the rest of their body is very drab. Actually, um, there are two main reasons for, the, for me wanting to find the blue throat. One is that it is such an amazing bird, and two is that my sister Kristen saw it a few years before I saw it. She was teasing me, saying, only good birders see blue throats. In the words of one of our Gretchen friends, Norma Cassie, going to the Arctic refuge and exploring for oil would be like going to a hospital nursery and tearing that apart. She says that because the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge calving grounds is a birthing ground for caribou. I've seen calves very close up when I'm on the beach and, and they go trotting right past me. I was surprised how young they were and how boisterous they were because human babies take a long time for them to learn to walk but these babies can walk in less than well, they're on their feet in a couple of hours after birth. There is one word that describes swimming in the Arctic called <laughs> it was fun. The only reason that I went swimming in the Arctic is because I saw a seal swimming and I thought that I should feel how a seal feels. If a bill was passed to allow drilling in the Arctic Refuge, then the Arctic Refuge would turn into a Prudhoe Bay. There's no way that you can drill in the Arctic Refuge without harming the wildlife. Big business people would be happy to get oil drilled out of some place a long ways away that they don't feel the impact of, but if they discovered oil under the White House, they would say, no way to drilling. When I'm 50, and our kids can have a place to go and see the environment. If our parents destroy this place, then the generations will have no place to go and see what it's like out there. I have not seen anywhere else like the Arctic Refuge. There is no other place like it.